right guys this is Kelly I am back with a process video today's layout is for Coco Daisy and it is using their May kit and I just really had a lot of fun with this kit it's very tropical themed and one of the papers that I will be using on this page is from Echo Park and it is just a beautiful paper with pineapples on it so I wanted to figure out a way to get that paper used on a page and to make a fun layout. And I found a quote on Pinterest and I decided that I wanted to enlarge a pineapple, let it be a focal point on my page. And when I was brainstorming, I found a quote and it was just, I this layout is probably one of my favorites in a long time. So I'm taking, um, Jane Davenport water pen, watercolor pencils, those are on the left, and I do have one Primo watercolor pencil that I'm using, and I will have to say that I'm going to reserve my judgment on these watercolor pencils from Jane Davenport. I maybe am not using them correctly, which could very well be the case, but I just really felt like the color should be more vibrant because all of her colors with everything else seem to be, and I just, I was a little disappointed with this. So I am in just a minute going to come back with my uh, watercolors and add some more color on to the pineapple to make it as bright as I really had in mind and envisioned it. And you can see the difference right away. It just looks so much better. So I am going to add some darker green uh, droplets. My goal for this is to make it bright, uh, whimsical, but at least a little realistic with the different shades of green in the leaves and the different shades of gold and like light brown that are going to be on the pineapple. So this uh, was really fun to do. I haven't done this in a while. I go in spurts with what I end up doing and um, I definitely want to do this. A little bit more frequently my wrist uh, just kind of tends to be getting in the way so I decided the yellow still was not exactly how I wanted so I pulled out um, one of my shimmers mist and I uh, can't remember which color this is I did show it to you though hopefully you were able to see it if you weren't and you really want to know let me know and I will look it up for you I just I can't remember off the top of my head so what I'm doing is I'm making some splatters and then I am just kind of uh, with a dry paper towel uh, dabbing a little bit of it up and in just a second I'm going to come back with some more sprinkles just so that it has um, a few different shades of that same color going on. And I let that dry by itself and also to give my wrist a break. So what I did off camera was I started getting my title put together because I knew that it was going to take a while for me um, messing with those letters and just trying to figure out which word I wanted at what point. So I am going to gut this paper. This is the paper that I was talking to you about. I love the pineapples. I just, you know, yellow and green is one of those combinations that I don't use very often and I love it when I see it and I just thought it was so, so pretty. So I'm gonna try to do this left-handed and it just was not gonna work. So I am being not a very good patient and I'm doing it with my right and you see what happens when I do it. I do have to take several breaks with this layout. This is, um, as I'm doing the voiceover, I'm almost four weeks out with the injury and it's better. It's just not as good as it should be. So I'm going to have to go back and see the doctor, which I'm not looking forward to. So anyway, let me talk about this title and tell you how I chose which words to go where in the title. So in the main kit and in the day in the life kit, there were several alphas. The My Mind's Eye... Um, embellishment pack I guess or sticker pack that came with one of the kits had that gold alpha had that green tile alpha had that multicolor alpha that is an and the pink fresh studio is the script 
and that was included in the main kit and the yellow evolicious letters I think were also in the main kit. So when I was trying to figure out which letter stickers I wanted for which word, I started out with the gold ones first. I thought that those would make the biggest impact or one of the two. And I had limited, I guess, limited letters with that. So I chose to use pineapple and crown in the gold because I thought that those two made the most sense to be in gold. And if you look closely at the uh, letter or the letters in pineapple, I don't have enough P's to make pineapple. So I'm going to use an R and I guess my tip for this would be to, if you need to alter a letter, um, do it, like say you, I'm altering the P like I did here, instead of having the altered P beside a P that was already manufactured that way, I'm putting it to you know, to be by itself so that you are going to be less likely to notice that I have cut off, you know, part of the letter to make it a letter that I need as opposed to the letter that I have. So that would be one of my little tips. I also, after I did the gold letters, I went ahead and I figured out which ones I wanted the black letters um, the, by pink brush to be. And I knew that I wanted Be Sweet because that just definitely is one of her characteristics. She is a very, very sweet girl. We are blessed. And um, I knew that I wanted that to be pretty bold on the page. So in kind of guesstimating where I would have the phrase on the page, tall was the other one that just made sense. Number one, tall and to have a tall uh, word on the page. It just makes it, I think, more fun when you have things that go like that. Like say you're going to spell out orange and if you don't do it in orange letters, to me that always looks funny. So if you spell out orange, you have an orange letters and it makes so much more sense. And that's what I wanted to try to do with this as well. So my third tip is with like the little green tile alphas is use those for the words that aren't important but that help to build up the phrase. So the phrase is be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. So you know for the B, A, on, the, those are definitely words where the tile stickers make a big impact. Number one because there's usually a lot of letters on them and so you can afford to make more words with them and also because I, I felt like it really helped with the readability of this. So that just left me to choose my evilicious words and I just for that I just chose what I had left and I just had stand on them the inside because that those aren't as I guess important in the phrase and I just my big thing was I wanted the pineapple to be in gold and the be sweet to be in that beautiful black script. So that was kind of how I went about doing that phrase. It did take me a while to think about it and it did take me a while to get it onto the wax paper, especially with my wrist. But you know, when this layout is all said and done, it was completely worth it, 100%. Now I will say that using my T-square ruler with this helped tremendously. For me, when I'm going to have a title like this, this is like a huge thing on my page and I feel like a lot of emphasis is on it and I definitely want those letters to be straight or the ones that I can control straight. The tall and the B-sweet are script and they're made to look not straight, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it just, you know, it really made a difference with the tiles, the tile letter stickers and the others. So I hope that made sense. So with her picture, this is just a silly one of my daughter and I thought that this picture would be perfect for this page um, just because it shows her goofy personality and the colors in this I thought were also perfect. The yellows in the grasses behind her, I just thought worked well with the pineapple. 
and it also brought out some of the green and I liked her blue top as a pop of color that's nowhere else on the page and I do not bring it out. Sometimes I find that by letting a color in your photo not be on the page, it really helps to make your photo stand out. So now I want to go and just embellish the page with just a couple of things. I really want the focus to be on my pineapple and my title and you know because I I put so much work into that that I didn't want anything really to take away from those couple of things. So you will see that I pull out a couple of the flowers on the My Mind's Eye sticker pack and I'm going to put those onto the title as well. Now off camera I am going to um, at the end sew with gold thread underneath the word inside and what that does is it helps to ground the title. I wanted something to ground it like a shelf just something to help it not look so floaty and I couldn't find anything in the stickers that I really liked so I did some messy gold stitching there and I really like the way that that turns out. Now the other thing that I did that did take a very long time and it probably took me mm, two days to do just because of my wrist is I stitched in the gold in I stitched the pineapple with gold thread and I also stitched around the layout as well. So I'm playing around with some of these embellishments because I felt like I to the right of the photo needed just a little something to help balance out that area but I didn't want to cover up much of the pineapple so what you'll see in the close-ups is that I went ahead and I chose the citrus die cut and I just thought that it helped to balance it out without covering up too much of the pineapple so that's it for me be sure and check out the close-ups at the end so you can see just how cool this turned out um, the, the pictures just don't even do it justice. It, it's just, it truly is one of my favorite layouts in a long time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope maybe you found some inspiration with this page as well. So thank you so much. I will see you soon. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.